Today in this video we're going to walk you through how to do a ConnectSmart 3.09 installation and this is going to be from scratch. Uh, this is going to be applying for ConnectWise both on-premise and hosted. Uh, so uh, the first thing that we want to do is install the server. Uh, typically you want to use a machine with about 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, it can be a Windows 7 machine, it could be Windows 2008 R2. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, crazy but um, at least 4 gigs of RAM is, is a nice recommendation. So uh, we want to start with uh, running the ConnectSmart 3.0 server application and you're going to want to locate your license keys that were email, emailed to you when you signed up for a subscription. Okay, uh, once that's completed, you want to leave this box checked, and this will bring us to our next step for configuring the SQL credentials. So, in this case, we're actually going to uh, select uh, the ConnectWise connector and hit Modify Connection. And up here, you want to put in your uh, CW, uh, your SQL server name. And then here you can put use recommended default. That will install the ConnectSmart user during the install uh, with which the gadgets will log in with. Um, and then uh, to run the install, you want to put in uh, administrative, typically SA credentials. And these are for SQL. And you can test that to the right there to see if you have good connection. If not, that won't, that'll fail and you won't be able to populate the database. And under here, we're going to select your ConnectWise database. In this case, it's CWWebApp underscore and your company name. And then lastly, you would click this Install Radio button. I've already installed it, so it doesn't give me the option. Um, but you would click Install, and then to the right here, this button would light up, and you would click on Install. That would install the SQL views and functions uh, to the database. Um, and then uh, you can click OK at the bottom and that will take you back out to the main screen. So that's the SQL credentials and install step. Uh, the next step is to enter some basic configuration settings. Um, there's a lot here that you really don't have to mess with but two things you will want to put in are your base URL and your company. Um, this is found in the ConnectWise login screen. So the base URL is this site. So you want to copy that and paste it right here. And then right underneath it, the company. So copy and paste that right there. Um, it's optional to do a couple other fields towards the bottom here. Um, uh, for example, default location. If you have a couple branches, uh, you know, say a, a Miami branch, a Hollywood branch, and you just want to look at the reports from just one branch. You would specify that there. Uh, you can leave it blank and that will bring in every location you have. Um, down here, MSP agreement. This is going to be an agreement type. Again, leave it blank. That will populate everything. Um, MSP board. Say you just wanted to look at a couple service boards. Uh, you would list them there. Um, I'm just going to remove them right now. All values are entered with single ticks enclosed and they're separated by commas. Uh, this one actually may uh, be of use to you. If you have a, a very large engineering team and uh, you want them automatically populated in gadgets, you would uh, type them out here and that way in a gadget later on you can invoke a little shortcut called Team Engineering and it will uh, in their parameters and it will bring in all those engineers. Uh, but for now I'm just going to take that out um, another thing, I'm just, so you want to click apply to apply those changes. And then lastly, um, sorry not lastly, we've got one more step. This is for uh, the, the hosted versions of ConnectWise. Uh, if you want to take advantage of some of the, the new gadgets that are utilizing the RPT views, uh, you can go into ConnectWise and set up an integrator login. So this is under Setup Tables. You want to search for Integrator. And you want to create a new user. And you, you don't have to call it ConnectSmart, but we did just for the sake of simplicity. Create a user called ConnectSmart. Uh, put in a password there. 
and really all you need checked down here is this reporting API box. You want to leave that checked. Do a save and close. And then in here, the very back at the top, you would put in the password and then underneath it the username which you had called it. So that is completely optional um, but it, if you do want to take a look at some of the hosted gadgets that's the way to do that. You'd click apply and then the last step is to make a client configuration for your workstations. So that's done up here. You click file, generate client config and we're just going to point it uh, I think to the desktop right away. It's going to ask for where you want to put it. And you can choose by hostname or IP address. Hit generate. Click OK. Close out of that. And you see a file up here was made. Uh, this is going to be requested when you're doing the creator installation as well as the client installation. So um, we can leave that there for now. Click OK to get out of that. And let's go ahead and install the creator here. Okay, and then locate your license key for the creator. And after hitting next, we'll run through the installation. Okay, and in the end, you can uh, leave that box checked, and it's asking for that file we created on the desktop. So let's point it to that, click install, that'll import it, and that basically tells it where the Connect Smart server is located. It's a very simple file, just basically has an IP address in it. Okay, and lastly is the client. The creator serves as the dashboard gadget maker, whereas the client uh, is more the gadget viewer. So you would install the client on, say, your engineer's workstations or on the, the machines driving the big plasma screens. Okay, paste in your serial. Okay, again, leave that box checked, import the file, click install, and you're done. That's the complete installation of ConnectSmart. Uh, you can test that real quick and just make sure we have good connection. You want to open up the Power Gadgets Creator, and don't be alarmed when you see this not connected to data. That's fine until you actually add a gadget. So, for example, we'll go to the Team Productivity category. Let's open up Hours by Tech. Go ahead, double click that gadget, and right away it populated with data for the day. Um, again, you can uh, hit the play button. Um, you can double click on one of these, and that'll take you to the grid. Uh, if you install the client on this machine, it'll open up the grid, and you can see the time detail, which would hot link straight to the ticket in ConnectWise. So that's just to test a very basic connection, and uh, you can edit settings uh, in the back end. But we'll save that for another video. Today is just the installation of ConnectSmart. So that concludes it with the server, the creator, and the client for version 3.09.